Welcome to War Thunder with Subdude. How y'all doing today? Well, let's just talk about one of my favorite planes in the game. The A4B Skyhawk. Now, some of you might be looking at this plane going, Yeah, it's one of the neat little fighters. It's not a fighter. It never was designed to be a fighter when the Navy acquired it. It was acquired as an attack bomber. Which is why it's got the A designation at the beginning. And yes, when Douglas set out to build the aircraft, they thought that they were going to be making a fighter. Unfortunately, the Navy had no need for a fighter from Douglas, and they wanted a attack bomber. Something that could get down and put bombs on target or rockets on target to help ground troops like, I don't know, Marines? And the Marines actually used quite a few of these Skyhawks. The Skyhawk also was used in the Wild Weasel role. The Wild Weasel role was to haul into the area carrying a AGM-45 Shrike, listen for a radar of a specific frequency, and then launch the missile at that radar. Now, it wasn't designed to go after the launch platform. It was designed to go after the radar. So, if you had a bunch of... Well, I'm going to say it this way because that's the only way I can say it. A bunch of commies running the radar in a van... They would be sitting there going, Ooh, there's a target! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Set the SA-2 missile to launch, and we're going after that strike package, and, and, wait a minute, what's that? Boom! The AGM-45 would strike their van with about 65 to 66, yeah, 65 to 67 kilograms of explosive with a annular blast warhead which means lots of fragments, which means basically it's just one of the roles of the A-4 Skyhawk. The A-4 Skyhawk could also carry the bullpup missile, which turned out to be rather disappointing because it's 250 was not big enough to do the damage that they wanted it to do and it had the also unintended consequences of to follow the missile in to make sure that it got to where it was going it had a tv circuit built into it that would allow the firing platform to guide it remotely without having to follow the missile down. Um, and I don't think the walleye was ever put onto the A4. I could be wrong. Uh, later versions of the Skyhawk were equipped with the Maverick. That is something further down the road. I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon. Maybe sometime mid-year or so. Next year. Or maybe for Christmas. Who knows? Um, but the Skyhawk was basically a high-speed scooter. It was a replacement for the uh, Sky Raider. Sky Raider, prop driven, excellent plane. Um, 
long service life. I mean, I'll, I will almost guarantee there are some Central American and South American countries that still have Sky Raiders. There might even be some African nations that still have Sky Raiders. Tough plane, tough engine, just massive weapons load. Well, the Skyhawk couldn't quite carry as much as a Sky Raider, but it could carry it faster and just as far. And it could put stuff on, down on target and get the heck out of Dodge. Yes, they got shot down by AAA in Vietnam. Everything got shot down by AAA in Vietnam. Except the Russian planes because they never came down south far enough to get shot down by AAA, I don't think. I'm not sure any of the Hawk batteries ever got uh, killed. Maybe they did, I don't know. Haven't found any literature on it. But the uh, Skyhawk, highly maneuverable, within reason. It could hum the tune and it knew the dance steps for being a fighter. But it had two left feet. Um, it did not... The initial versions that came out did not have the engine thrust to continue high, manu high G maneuvers against fighters. Now, that was pretty much cured by the time you got to the E and then finally the M versions. They had a much more powerful engine. And they had... Instead of just three hard weapons hard points, they had five weapons hard points. So they could carry much more ordnance. And as they got older and the Marine Corps M version, they had this pronounced hump over the back. And what was involved in that hump was electronic countermeasures and intercept on the plane to keep them from being shot down by radar guided weapons either triple a or missiles uh, when the a4 was basically retired from active service and moved over to uh, training units the electronics hump was removed and the A4M was used quite extensively in the uh, fighter weapon school because it could mimic the MiG-17 and even the MiG-19 for maneuverability. And you might sit there and go, wow, you know quite a bit about the A4B. Well, I like the attack planes a lot more than I like fighters. Um, when used in the role for which it was designed, not initial design, but post-design, as an attacker, it is quite good. It's able to put ordnance on target. And, well, hey, where are you? No bloody hell, where are you? Uh, 
Oh, arcade. No wonder I couldn't find what I wanted. A4B. Got 172 aircraft kills. Now, some of those are AI bombers. I'm going to admit that right up front. But, a lot of them are not. And I would say the majority of them are not AI bombers. They are player kills. And I've gotten 440 ground targets and 19 naval targets. Now, those naval targets are patrol boats, but still. The plane is good at what it does. Yeah, I've died 281 times. I've flown out 561 times. 42% win rate. Don't care what you figure about my performance. It's not a fighter. It's a attack bomber. And I use that term attack bomber because that's what it is. A bomber, first and primarily. And it's a pretty darn good bomber. And in the American lineup, it is my second most prolific killer. Followed by the A2D1, which is another attacker, even though it never got put into active service. Uh, here in War Thunder, it's pretty darn good. Thirty-nine ninety-five in the ground kills and 123 naval targets dispatched. So if you really look at it for the number of actual kills, this thing is way over one-to-one. And so is this one. I know that's not how most of you players figure the kill ratio. AI doesn't count. Yes, it does. It really does. Because you're actually talking about targets serviced. And if I kill a player... He's just another target serviced. But the A4 is what I would consider the top of my like to fly list. And my like to fly list starts with the AM1 and comes on down through. Uh, I'm not so hot about flying the FJ4B because it is a fighter first and foremost. Yeah, somebody called it a fighter bomber. Yeah, well, everything in the American lineup is a fighter bomber of one sort or another. I think there are very few aircraft that cannot carry a bomb. Uh, the P-51 Mustang. Uh, let's see. The G Lightning. Has two armament presets. Uh, the E Lightning only has one. You got two armament presets on the uh, Q Cobra. N Cobra has two armament presets, and the P400 only has one. I know there's bombs on the P40s. Four armament presets, four armament presets. The G, the P-36s, they're all single use, fighter only, the P's. But once you get above like the P-51, they're all fighter bombers of one sort or another. I mean, yeah, you can consider rockets for being fighter bombers. Um, all the naval planes, they carry ordnance of some sort. Or can carry ordnance of some sort. I know they've got, uh, what is it? 
Let's go back up here. Eight armament pre-sorts. Eight armament pre-sorts. Uh, four armament pre-sorts. Now, they're saying there's only one armament pre-sort preset here for the uh, Corsair F4U1C. Uh, yeah, okay. You keep dreaming that. F4U1C could carry bombs and rockets just like any other F4U. It's just that it's not allowed to in War Thunder because reasons. But that's pretty much it. Uh, they still need to move this over into the fighter line and move this one over into the fighter line. But attackers to me are the planes that I like to fly and they are the planes that I will be flying in the game. Uh, we need more advanced fighters. I would like to see later versions of the A4 and I would love to see the A6 Intruder and the A7 Corsair 2. The A7 Corsair 2 would be what I would consider the absolute pinnacle of ground attack in the naval line and even in the Air Force line because the Air Force used A7s also. They used the D and E. Uh, wait a minute. D version was Navy. E version was the Air Force. Same basic plane, a little bit different electronics, same bomb loads. And that's pretty much all I've got today. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow, and we'll catch you in the sky. And air realistic on the good maps. This is Subdude signing out. Bye-bye, folks.